Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Cold Blue Opinions. Coming back at you with another one of his opinions. Coming from his motherfucking bunker. Not today. I guess this is sort of a follow-up to my last video. I think it was my last video. Where I, I was talking about that teacher who was talking about gay stuff in class. And how the teacher should not be talking about any type of sexuality in class. But I think especially not homosexuality. Because it's up to the parents how they want to break that down to their kid when they want to. And it's not up to you and blah, 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 blah. This, that, and the third. And this is why my kids will not be having phones. <laughs> that, that's the first and foremost. But we're going to get into this article that I saw. This was from this year, June 10th. And it's speaking on basically the effects that social media, especially TikTok, is really having. Now, it's, it's less so... I guess it's speaking on the effects, but it's not speaking on the effects in the way that I uh, am. I am speaking it on. It's very pro the effects because you know they they want to they want to get everybody on their side for some reason, even the kids, right? So the way that they're the way that they're wording this is very particular. But we know we know that they like to try to basically, for lack of better terms, groom kids with this transgender stuff, right? They have the transgender drag shows and they bring kids to them. They even do this stuff to a degree with the, the pride parades because they'll be bringing, sometimes parents will bring their kids to pride parades and you got people walking outside with strap-ons on and, and thongs and just degenerate shit out in the street that I don't think any human being should be wearing in public. But, you know, yeah. And now you don't need to go to the streets. You don't need to take your kid to the streets. All you need to do is just give them a smartphone. All you need to do is give them an Android, an iPhone, and let them download TikTok. Because right here, this article says, many young adults now identify as transgender or non-binary as social media helps more people come out. When Archie Crowley, a transgender and non-binary doctoral student at the University of South Carolina, was in the process of discovering themselves a decade ago, one of the first sources of information they looked to was transgender people sharing their experiences on YouTube. So this is somebody who actually, I guess, was having issues with this stuff and they decided to look for the information. I think that that's the most natural and probably best way of going about this because they decided to look into it because they were having these issues. So they looked to decide to see if other people were having these issues, right? But this person makes a quote and they're like, now people younger than me are pointing to TikTok and Instagram, said Crowley, who serves as a facilitator for Midlands Area Transgender Support Group in, in Colombia. People are able to create and put out their own stories, whereas before, the only way we would find out information was through other media gatekeepers. So what I find very interesting is that someone will say, you're influencing, even though I've already I've already proven that you can, majority of people who are getting influenced by outside factors, uh, people's sexuality is generally, especially homosexuality, that was the study, so I can't even speak on heterosexuality, even though I would imagine it'd be the same, but homosexuality majority of the time it's influenced by outside factors whether someone is gay or not right i don't and, and it's the same shit with this transgender stuff i think that there are people who legitimately have gender dysphoria but i think that a, a large amount way more than these people would like to admit a large amount of these people are just doing it to to be a part of a trend and they're being convinced that they are because they have these identity issues and they're depressed and shit so they want to have some sort of identity and how about what other better way of having identity than saying that I'm they them or I'm non-binary or I'm wolf wolves or whatever the fuck bullshit they, that they come up with these days, right? And now we're beginning to see the effects of TikTok and now these people don't have to go on YouTube. Well, I can make a TikTok with TikTok's algorithm, probably go viral, hundreds of thousands, millions of people will see the TikTok, right? Hundreds of millions maybe. And they'll see my story about how I'm actually going through these issues and they'll be influenced. They'll think, oh, well, this is cool or this is a trend or maybe they're confused and they think they're having this. It's the same kind of shit that when you look up on Google, hey, what does it mean if I have a cold and my head hurts? Oh, it probably means you have AIDS. Now people think you got fucking AIDS. The difference is you can't develop AIDS just because you believe in it. But you can actually, you know, all you got to say is, oh, well, I'm transgender. I have to say I'm going through the same kind of things that this person is going through. I'm having the same kind of issues. I feel the same kind of way. These vague sort of, because they're not doctors who can give specific sort of, um, the spe specific sort of prescriptions or saying that, hey, you know, this is what you're actually going through or whatever. They, they, they're not, they're not, you know, they're just going through their experiences. So a lot of what they say is going to be vague anyways. They're not professionals at it. 
And then when you hear that, oh, well, I'm having these sort of same issues. Yeah, you know what? I was having the same issues as well. So I'm, it's a mockery. It's a mockery. You're, you, you do not, you're not actually somebody who thinks that you were born in the wrong body. These people, and that's scary. That's scary, right? You think that you're born in the wrong body. You wake up thinking, damn, I'm not the wrong, I'm born the wrong fucking person. And I know for a fact, like that's fucked up. And if there's actually not medicine, which I don't know if there actually is, and it seems that even if you look it up and ask if it is, Google is gonna is gonna prefer you with articles that's saying that that's homophobic to even ask because it's so politically divided. And you, there's such a political drive to say that no, no, these people are born this way. I would think though that if someone has this inclination in their head that the body they're born in is the wrong one, that that sounds like an issue that needs to be solved. Otherwise, that's like magic voodoo some shit. You know, like they swap bodies. Like, no, something's going on in this person's head and they think they're born in the wrong fucking body. But if there's actually nothing we can do to help them with modern science and medicine, because we just tell these people that they're fine, they're normal, whatever. When, no, they're not. If someone thinks that the fucking walls are talking to them, you know, we tell them, hey, you need to get some help because the walls are not talking, bro. No, the walls are talking to me 100%. You know, it's like, no, I wouldn't sit there and just enable that. But if, if there was no way of being able to help them and they didn't harm anybody because they thought the walls walls were were, uh, were talking to them, they didn't harm themselves, okay, I'd be like, all right, whatever, I guess, right? So it's the same thing. I'll call somebody whatever they want to be called if they have a legitimate issue, right? Now, where the line gets blurred for me is when these people, you have the people who are faking it just to do it as a trend. And I know you, like this one girl was talking about, actually, I'm non-binary. I was like, she was a girl, she was a girl, she was a girl. Bitch, you suck dick, you like dick, you're a girl. You dress like a girl, you, you're a girl. You're just bored. This is a first world fucking problem. You're bored, you're a girl. I was, I was like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about, but yeah, whatever, not change the subject. That's, it's shit like that. I don't call you what you wanna be called. I still call that girl, girl. She sucked my dick like a girl. I treated her like a girl. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sorry to get a little vulgar, but this shit, like, come on. Um. So, yeah. Sorry, that's that's quite the dialogue. And I mean, look, I don't know the reason why they 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 they're pushing this. They a lot of this stuff is clearly some sort of agenda. It's not real. Just what was it? In 2004, just in 2004, what was it? 50% of Democrats actually opposed the idea of gay marriage. Only 40% favored it. And in 2008, 50% favored it and 42% that was when Obama was running and he got in office. 42% had uh, opposed it out of nowhere for some reason they decided to just uh and and obviously republicans they they largely disagree with it they largely disagree with it they 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 largely oppose it a 70 no less than 70 percent at least on this graph because this only is like 2012 but over 70 like at least 70 percent have uh disagreed with it like they, they opposed it but even the democrats even the, so the liberals even they weren't for the shit they weren't for the shit but all of a sudden and your man's Obama in 2004 opposed gay marriage. He was one of those people who opposed gay marriage and people were cheering for him at these Democratic. So, I mean, just to, a lot of stuff like Democrats believe like there was there was a swap and that they didn't own slaves and all this and that. Not to get too deep into it, but I mean, guys, you guys literally opposed gay marriage in 2004, largely. Like your man's Obama opposed it. You think that you guys aren't capable of being fucking slave owners at some point or being the racist ones too? Like, come on, come on. It's... It, it, from party to party, it, it's <laughs> it's bigotry. But, um, you know, so now we see an uptick. And even, like, when Obama was first, like, getting in office and when he was first voted in, you start to see a process of more and more people were coming out of the closet, obviously, because more people were becoming emboldened and comfortable to do so. But it was disproportionate the amount of women who were coming out as lesbians and bisexual as opposed to the men who were coming out as bisexual or gay, Right? It should be a sort of a constant thing, but why is it? And you would think on the other end, you would think on the other end, more men would come out because, well, men were so, it was such a taboo thing, especially at this time. I mean, look, even it was, it was 2008 when Obama got in office. Four years ago, the majority of Democrats were, were against gay marriage, right? So it was a really taboo thing. I mean, even you think of like Riley from uh, the Boondocks, his main thing is, oh, nigga, you gay. You know, like, you would think that more gay people would be coming out than lesbians because, I mean, it's, it's a lot less taboo to be a lesbian woman at this time than, than a man. Both were taboo, but, I mean, if I had to say which one was more taboo, like, which one 
struggled more with people being against him, I'd say gay men. And I mean, there's still cultures around the world where gay men is like, you know what I mean? And, and there, there, there's a reason for that because, you know, the son is the father's legacy and that you keep the last name going. And if you're gay, then I can't. And there's obviously other stuff, but I think that's probably what that stems from the most, right? And it's thought to be like, uh, you know, you're emasculating yourself and you're not being a man and blah, 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 this, that, and the other. So yeah, but for some reason, the, the, there were more women who came out as lesbian and bisexual and blah, 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 than gay people. Really, what I think that that is, is those were people who wanted attention. Now, there were obviously were ones that were actually lesbian bi and bi well, bisexual. That one, I, 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 don't know. I think you're either lesbian or gay. I mean, both. I, both, I think you just like to fuck. You just fuck. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> but whatever. But we're just going to focus on lesbian and gay. I think a lot of those that came out, a lot of those women that came out just wanted attention. They just wanted to be a part of stuff. Just like this shit. And the thing is, it's younger women that are coming out. They're saying young adults are coming out as transgender. More more young adults are coming out as transgender. And I think the reason for that is because they're being influenced by TikTok. They're just following a trend. So when it becomes the, the new trend to fucking only eat fish bones, there's going to be a large, like, Way more people are going to start coming out as people who only eat fucking fish bones, you know? It's just, it is what it is. And there's people doing this for attention. And this is why I say it's not that hard to keep your kids from being influenced and being turned into a degenerate. They're just so exposed to things. Hey, dumbass, get them a flip phone. Don't get them a fucking smartphone. Are you that dumb? Well, what if they really want one? I don't give a fuck. Sometimes kid, kids want to OD on fucking chocolate ice cream. Does that mean you let them? Some kind, sometimes kids, when I was a kid, I wanted to hop the fucking fence to go get ice cream from my neighbor. When he asked me, he was like, hey, you want to go, you want some ice cream? And I was like, yeah. And then my dad stopped me. He's like, Jordan, don't you ever go anywhere without asking me first. Right? I wanted to just hop the fence to go get the ice cream as a kid, right? Well, that dude moved away. Come to find out, months later, that dude is on the run for being a fucking pedophile. Isn't that crazy? It's almost like you shouldn't let kids do what they want to do. It's almost like you shouldn't just let kids, you know what I mean? So I don't give a fuck if your kid fucking begs. I don't care if your kid begs and cleans the whole fucking house. And matter of fact, not only does he clean a house, he builds a whole new house, cleans that house, and then installs air conditioning, puts insulation inside of it. It's like, hey, dad, we got a new house. Can I get the new phone now? Can I get the phone now? I bet no, you're not getting that phone. I don't give a fuck. Thank you for the house. You ain't getting the fucking smartphone. I'm not getting them that shit until they're like 15 years old, bro. They don't need that shit. I don't even know about fit. Get that shit for yourself when you're 18, nigga. <laughs> you're not getting a smartphone. I'm getting them a flip phone, guys. This, they're programming the children, whether they're intensely doing it or not. They're programming the kids. They're influencing them in some way. Emasculating the boys. All I see is th these young teenage boys or dudes around my age who want to get choked and stepped on by these women and calling women mommy and they want to get emasculated by the women and be submissive to the women more and more dudes getting their ass licked and enjoying it and, and getting pegged by women i talked to this one chick and she was talking about how she pegs dudes you know what i fucking said to her you ain't doing that shit with me <laughs> not with me you fucking crazy and she was like oh she's disappointed but you know what she fucking respected me she fucking respected me for that shit I don't know why you do. Most dudes would have fold, folded to that chick too because she's a traditionally attractive chick. What's wrong? Like they're, they're, they're brainwashing these dudes to put themselves below women and emasculate them. There's a fucking football commercial where the football players are getting dominated by the NFL wives and then they're getting angry and flipping tables and losing their temper. And then the wives are like, oh, who flipped the table? I get it. It's like, dude, I hate that commercial. It's lame. Everything is programming to emasculate men and put men down and put women up. I don't, I don't fuck with that. And I'm not going to have my kids watch that and brainwash themselves. I'm not going to have my daughter sit and watch and think that they're going to be above men physically or that they're a particularly above men just in general. And I'm not going to have my sons thinking that they're beneath women or that they're weak or that they have to submit to women just so they can get along with society. That's not what's going to happen. I'm not going to do that. And you guys don't have to fall for the same shit. Get a fucking flip phone, man. And that's my opinion, man. And I'm fucking out. Peace.